Ooh, what ho chaps, it's Magical Mike again. You can follow me on Twitter at that address. I always wave my hand around when I do that. I did it again. Weird, weird reaction. I'm going to be talking about the build that I've used to level this necromancer so far up to 69. And I'm going to talk about it because it's a leveling build. It's not fantastic. Especially later on, it drops off quite a lot. And we're just going to quickly go over this stuff. Now, I'm using a staff in one hand, in one set even, and in the other set I've got whatever the hell you like, to be honest. I would actually recommend the scepter though and go into curses instead of power, but I'm going to talk about these other things first. First thing you do when you're leveling, you want to put points into death magic and get to 10 in there as quickly as possible, then blood, then soul reaping, and then move on up death, blood again, and then 60s to 70 probably put points into curses, actually. And then later on, I don't know yet, because I'm going to change this build, maybe put points into here so that you can get minion skills recharged faster. But we've pretty much got oh, a minion and well build. It's not the best, but it's kept me fairly safe, and I've been able to use daggers for quite a long time which puts me right at the front line doing silly things. I even did this in Twilight Arbor and I was just fine, so it's not terrible. So the first thing you want is siphoning health is 50% more effective. Ah, <sighs> not fantastic, but it's a thing. It, it helps, but not very much, so be wary about that. Definitely want wells to recharge faster. You want your staff skills to recharge faster. You want your minions to have more health. Or, I guess you can have recharge faster, and then later on put more health in here. Uh, I don't know. Soul reaping, you could have your, your life force recharge, uh, drain slower. You can have this one here, Path of Midnight, to do that. You could do Speed of Shadows if you just want to run around. Or Unyielding Blast. There's quite a lot of variations with the Necro, and it's really weird. I've put points here as my last trait line, just because, but I'd recommend going into curses and using a scepter in your other weapon set though, because scepters are actually very, very powerful and conditions, you do, you, no matter what you do, unless you're using a dagger, you're going to get tons and tons of conditions all over the place, even wells to be honest, obviously won't benefit from condition damage, but whatever, Ah, uh, so yeah, put points in, in curses instead of spite. And that's it, really. The build isn't great, but it's not terrible either. I kind of recommend minions. Kind of. I'll There'll be some footage now, somewhere on the video, of me actually doing some combat, but... Minions have this horrible problem in that they just have terrible AI. They haven't got a clue what they're doing. I've got the Shadow Fiend and the Flesh Golem is my elite here. Uh, the Flesh Golem isn't bad. He's actually a really tanky elite when you've got the 50% more health trait. And the Shadow Fiend's nice for the blind occasionally. But the AI is just awful. They haven't got a clue what they're doing. They die quite easily. The recharge is fairly long. It's just, they just suffer from too many problems that I have to change this build and get rid of the minions. Which is why in my other two slots I have two Wells. Well of Suffering is incredibly powerful. It does a lot of damage, it does a lot of vulnerability, and div therefore gives you and your team a lot more damage. And I've got Well of Power just to deal with some kind of conditions. Even though I have consumed conditions as my heal. I guess you could change that for whatever the hell you like. Blood is Power is not bad. Obviously Corrupt Boon is situational, but not bad against Dredge in particular. An epidemic's quite powerful if you're using a scepter. Essentially, that's it. But this this build's leveled me up quite well. But I need to change it. I oh, I just need to. There's just so many problems with it, and there's, the Necro's builds are so weird, and I don't quite understand them totally yet. That uh, it's hard to explain because the traits are in all sorts of weird places. You've got things in spite that benefit from death magic, you've got death magic that benefits from curses, and then you've got curses that benefit from soul reaping. It's so strange, and it makes no sense. <laughs> Yet yeah, it makes all the sense in the world because loads of different things 
synergize with each other. It's it's hard to explain, but if you follow my build, what I've got right here, then you'll be able to level up fairly easily. And once you've once you've played the Necro for as long as I have, or for not even that long to be honest, you'll pick it up. You'll understand it a lot more easily, and then you'll be making builds more effective than what I have here. It's just a general guideline. And eventually, I'll come out with some more builds that I've used or tried and tested, and be able to talk about that later in other videos. Anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble on. Like, uh, like Led Zepp. Nothing like Led Zepp. I just wanted to say Led Zepp. And there you go. I'll see you later. Cheers.